Well, good Saturday morning to you. Glad to have you with me this morning on some good seats or whatever time of the day you happen to catch this. Just glad to have you share with me and some sharing some good seats. Uh, this morning, our reading is in Acts uh, chapter 11. Also, uh, Old Testament was 37 through 38 in Psalm 19. But it's from chapter 11 of the book of Acts that I want to plant a little seed in our hearts from verse number 23. When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all with purpose of heart. They should continue with the Lord. This, of course, is uh, speaking about uh, Barnabas, one of the early uh, disciples, and his interaction with the folks in Antioch, Hellenists, who uh, Jews who had come to the Lord, but were nonetheless Gentiles. And so he comes to encourage them. And it's interesting to me that these disciples began to preach to the Gentiles there. Uh, and as a result, they came to the Lord. So when Barnabas, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, it says in verse 24, uh, that he, like his name, began to encourage the people that were there in Antioch. The notable thing that was that he was, he was encouraging them with purpose of heart that they should continue with the Lord. That just is an interesting, interesting thought to me because uh, it just speaks to us that, that, that there's a necessity in our walk uh, and our relationship with the Lord that needs to be purposeful in what we're doing, intentional, uh, not just a, according to our feelings, although man, great, great times of blessing in the presence of the Lord where, you know, emotionally, physically, and feelings just really uh, amped up as a result of being in the presence of the Lord. But that doesn't happen every moment of every day. So what do we do the rest of the time when the feelings are not there? Well, it speaks to us of being intentional in our walk with the Lord. It, it means that we are aware of who we are in Christ and what our purpose and our uh, what our life is all about in the Lord. And so that we are focused on what we are doing in terms of our walk and our relationship with the Lord. Uh, Certainly, there was joy because even Barnabas himself was so glad when he observed the grace of God that was being manifest to these believers. But it wasn't about feelings. Uh, he encouraged them to be purposeful in their relationship with the Lord. And that's the point that I'm trying to emphasize with us this morning. It just speaks in this passage that relate to our being uh, sober-minded, disciplined in our walk and our relationship with the Lord. Our, our, our walk with the Lord isn't just... Uh, it's not just a stroll down the e uh, down the avenue in the evening where we are, you know, just kind of, oh, this is so good and great. No, it's about being purposeful, intentional each and every day about being mindful about our walk and our relationship with the Lord, what God wants for us and what he wants us to do and what he wants us to be. But being purposeful, intentional, meaningful, with a definite goal in mind that we live each day in the light of the love of God. And the realization that uh, we are his people and we are created to be like him in righteousness and holiness that, that our lives need to count for something. And I, I, I pray that for myself and for all of us that with, with fullness of heart, our, our walk would be purposeful, intentional, that I am living for Jesus because of the call of God upon my life. Not because I'm a pastor, but because I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm someone who has named the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so what I want to do is have that be representative of my life. Interesting that it was at Antioch that they were first called Christians. Don't know whether that was a slur or a compliment, but it's a good thing to be a Christian, to be called by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may we then walk accordingly. Pray it'll be an encouragement to you today in your walk with the Lord to be even more intentional than you are. Now, it's not just about uh, having a little time, a quiet time in the morning where you're, you know, where you spend time in the word and prayer that, as wonderful and as good. And I want to encourage you in that as it is, but it's about the rest of the day, being intentional in our walk, realizing who we are, that we are children of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we are there as his ambassadors to represent him in his kingdom. And we do that on purpose. So praise the Lord for that. Pray it's an encouragement to you today. May the Lord richly bless you as you walk with him and uh, live for him in a way that is pleasing and honoring to him. Amen. God bless.